I want to make a video here comparing the parts of the newer and older model of CF98 that are available on the market right now. This is uh, part two to my other video and this is just specifically on each part of the gun after it's been broken down. And at the end of the video I'll go over a little bit more about the magazines but right now I'll just start comparing uh, some of the parts. Uh, to start off with is the slides and as far as I can tell they're pretty much cut identically and just the rear sight has the small holes in it for the inserts of the the night sights everything else looks to be exactly the same the insides of them they look to be cut virtually identical the, the one on the top is obviously the older one because I've got quite a bit of wear on it. But there seems to be no change at all in the slide other than those two holes in the, re, in the uh, rear sight. The firing pins and the retainers look to be identical. There seems to be uh, no change in the way that, in the, the way that they're made. This, um, maybe after the video, I'll go over um, some tricks to the disassembly in that because there are some parts that are a little tricky to get out. So at the end of the video, I'll go over uh, some of that. So everything looks to be virtually the same with the extractor and the, um, and the firing pin assembly. The barrel bushings, again, look pretty much pretty much identical nothing nothing new there the older parts will obviously have more wear on them because it's it's been used quite a bit but those parts identical the barrels are the same thing the lugs are the same and they also both have uh, electro pencil engraved marking and then they have the actual serial number that's I'm not sure how they put it on there it's like sort of painted on but so I'm not sure what the pencil the electro pencil marking is because it is different than the actual serial number and the throats are the the throats are the same there's nothing nothing changed there this is one part of the gun that actually is different. The uh, locking blocks are the same. They have the, the serial number written on the locking blocks. But the older model uses a, a secondary spring, which pushes in. Uh, I don't know if it's a recoil reducer or, wh or what its purpose is, but the old one is made like this and it's an actual tube. The newer model is just a steel rod, a flattened steel rod. I assume they make it flat to make it stronger, but they are, they are completely different, but it looks like they, uh, they should be able to interchange because the, they're the same length and the bottom is, is the same. So that's something to consider if you if you get an older gun that you have this I'm assuming it's a recoil reduction um, spring in there. The slide stops are virtually identical except the newer one has this longer hook on it because the magazine it, it feeds differently it feeds from um, uh, more of a single stack and the older one feeds off of that uh, double stack sort of uh, um, configuration so this one is uh, is a little bit shorter so they are different in that as aspect but we'll check that later with the uh, magazines the chassis 
are also a little bit different. The only thing that seems to be significantly different is the actual chassis itself. The newer one having the uh, rail inside. Then it also has these lightning cuts on it, which the, which the older one doesn't have the lightning cuts at all. I'm not sure why they put, put them in there, which it's a, it's a good idea to have them. And then your chassis is serialized to the gun, which it has to be because this is the, uh, the part that needs to be serialized. All of the other parts in the, the trigger group, they all seem to be exactly the same. There's no new arrangement or anything for them. The frames look virtually identical on the outside. The newer one maybe has a slightly nicer finish to it, but if you look on the inside, the the way it's the way it's marked in here is slightly different with this G1 and then the uh, like the tooling uh, information on there, and then the slot is cut a little uh, deeper in there. Whereas this one just has like a it looks like a YH in it, and the it's more crudely cut the little relief in there. The, the safeties are exactly the same and I believe the safeties can be switched over to the opposite side because this spring just you pull it just straight up and then you could flip around the, the button it's the same on both sides so the frames are virtually identical just obviously this one's just newer, newer uh, tooling uh, the magazines are are vastly different. We're going to go into the magazines now. The newer one has a... I'm getting a lot of background noise. So I hope that it doesn't pick it up on a mic. Even though it's Thanksgiving Day, someone thinks that they should be working today. So, anyways, the newer magazine has a, a shorter spring in it. And I'm assuming because it's more tailored to the civilian market so they know it's only going to be needed to 10 rounds and the follower completely totally different and it's uh, polymer the old magazine has a long spring in it like would be more common that you would see it has a metal a separate metal piece that's uh, acts as a retainer the old one has just a, a flat stamped piece which attaches right to the spring it also has a metal follower and the follower is is serialized to the gun and it's also serialized to the magazine to the particular magazine so that's a really nice uh, quality feature to to do something like that the base plates are completely totally different the old one is a, a stamped piece, and the new one is actually two pieces. You slide uh, this part off, and then it, this is uh, this is basically just a spacer. Because when we look at the magazines later, I'll show you why this is actually there. The magazines again, completely different. They are the same. They are the same width and they have the same latches here. If you look at the, the new magazine, it's slightly longer and it feeds slightly higher. So I'll show these, I'll show more information about the magazines now and how they can interchange in the guns. If we look at just the uh, empty magazine with no plate on it, the new magazine actually sits lower in the gun, which is why it should be able to feed in either gun. Because although the 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 way the, the round is taken off the magazine, the new one actually sits lower, uh, allowing it to function. So that's 
just something to keep in mind um, with the newer and older magazines. So I put the guns back together. Actually, I, I left the the extractor and the firing pin out because it's actually a royal pain getting them in and out. And I'll just give a tip right now. With your disassembly tool or cleaning rod, you, you just unthread this you unthread this pin from your uh, cleaning rod and it inserts between this little plunger and you just insert it between this little plunger in the back of the extractor and you just push it right in between there and then you sort of lever up like this and this part will come out and you don't have to worry about breaking it it won't break it's it's very very tight in there and it's it's kind of a pain to do it might take a long time to get it out or put it in and it's just sort of the way it is it's not supposed to be something that you're supposed to be taking in and out all the time but you do have to take it out in order to um, take the firing pin out so that's one thing use your tool and don't be afraid it it is hard it goes in there very hard you push it right in between and then just lever it out so that's uh, just a tip on disassembly the other thing is your um, your uh, slide stop here use the bottom of the magazine and uh, push on this and it'll it'll pop out for you because it's in there very tight you need something to push on it so I'll go ahead and I'll show you the uh, opposite magazines and the uh, opposite guns. So if you put them in, this is what you end up with. You, you end up with this small gap here because of this spacer. So the new gun, or I mean the old gun, will not will not just take the new magazine just just right out of the box. So there, there needs to be modification there. So I'll go over and I'll show, um, I'll show some more. If you take the spacer off, the magazine will clip in there. The slide moves freely, but the slide will not lock back because it has the shorter, it has the shorter slide stop in it. The new gun with the old magazines. They fit in there perfectly fine. The slide moves and it locks back perfectly fine just like it just like it should. So the newer magazines, I haven't I haven't tested this at the uh, range to see if they are have I haven't tested this and fired them to see if they'll function 100 percent properly. And it looks like with just a little bit of modification you can use the new magazines in the old gun but you just have to modify them slightly and you're also not going to have your slide uh, locked back on the last round the newer the newer gun with the older magazines looks to be perfectly fine it doesn't uh, nothing's changed in that uh, in that area so after taking these guns completely apart and showing the just the little differences in the parts, uh, I'm not going to say one is any better than the other. The newer one, it looks more correct on the outside, but the the older one has that uh, recoil spring with the I believe it's a recoil reducer. You don't really notice it in the shooting because both of them shoot just so smooth like they're 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 excellent shooting guns so maybe that's why they in the newer guns they never bothered to put it in because it didn't really make a whole heck of a lot of difference that's just speculation but anyways that's just a video showing detailed each uh each part of the gun and uh that's pretty much it so thank you for watching